Hello, Taurus. Thank you for stopping by. This is Elizabeth. I hope your week went well. And today I'm going to look into the message for the fourth week of a August for you. Take in what resonates and just leave the rest. I'd like to say thank you to those whom subscribe, like, share, and comment so others can see the message as well and also help my small channel to grow as well too. All right, so card are shuffle already. I'm fixing my um, stone here. This is so beautiful. And uh, card are shuffle already. So let's take a look into all the message for you. I'm going to reshuffle a little bit more. It's just probably the habit. I like to shuffle. And so, and make sure that my card are straight up. If you take care of your card really well, that should not have a card upside down. So every reading, I like to straight my card, uh, my card and make sure they're on up where it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to have any reverse if you take care of cards. So here you have the first card of King of Pentacle. How rich of the money and the wealth offering here. Pentacle, it's um, it's the earth sign. It's a money, nature, physical body, stability, all things abundant, tangible, health and wealth for all of you. So, as the king of uh, Pentacle, you are compassionate. You are um, uh, accomplished energy, uh, charismatic and ground that you can see that's your energy for first message here this is time of great success in your financial security and your prosperity and your health and wealth go together this is a Midas touch everything turned out beautifully okay everything turned out beautifully and this, this is a supportive parent for some of you, or maybe you have a supportive spouse and supportive parents. And this is a good person to work for. If you work for someone who is a king of pentacle, they can help you, teach you, guide you, the way the business run, the money situation. Okay. You also now have a queen of swords. Swords are... You know, the truth of the message, idea and thought and the word you speak, the written communication. Make sure things are clear, okay? You are brilliant. You are very experienced and uh, releasing any situation or people, okay, that no longer serve you not sincere to you and not being truthful to you. You see some of those people, let them go. So seeing the uh, uh, things in the situation where, well, it might be difficult, but you switch things to make it more easier to manage. You're focusing on your career, on the truth of your message, have some of you because this queen of sword here she's very uh, very focusing on her career job wise um, some of you may be being a divorce or unmarried individual they're focusing on their task job career you have a good message coming to you a reading again you have four of one. This is a staple of your passion, your ambition, your creativity, your creation, action, and your drive here. What a stable that is. So you have so much to celebrate. Could be your wedding anniversary, your engagement, your marriage, a successful business, a successful wealth as well. So 
Yeah, good for you, Taurus, to sending your gratitude to the divine guardian, angel, and universe. How grateful you are for the peace, for the blessing, prosperity, that abundant that coming to you, peace and contentment in your personal life overall. Okay, very very stable condition here, a stable uh, life as well. Job, security of health and wealth. You have a Knight of Wands coming towards you, King of Pentacle. Go with Knight of Wands. Perhaps you're taking action and creation, and you are going to be success. The message coming towards you. Listen to the King of Pentacle. This person can be trusted. This person can lead you to financial security and success and prosperity. This is good person that you can work with, collaborate with. Uh, let them be your mentor at your work, at your agency, at your um, community, wherever that may be that apply to your situation. You have a Ten of Pentacle. What a successful card for you. Stability, your love life, your marriage, your engagement. Stability at the money and will and health with the Ten of Pentacle. And the cautious focusing on your career give you this completely 100% financial and wealth and health blessing. You have so much overflow of your wealth that you share with people that you love. Pass on to generation, to your children, grandchildren. You share with your pet. Let you know that, hey, look at that. Pets are so loyal to you. You included them into your celebration. Learn to love pet and honor pet as well. The dogs, two pair of dogs here. Let them be in your life. For some of you, you don't have compassion for your pet, the dog. Start now. Pets are so royal. You feed them today. They will be royal to you a hundred decades. You are so well abundant. Congratulations, Taurus. And also, you have five of pentacle. You feel that you may be left out in the cold. Really seriously, after you have a successful of job, financial, career, and stable life, and will, and you feel like you are being left in the cold, you need to reassess that situation if that coming to your thought, Taurus. You have everything you needed. If you feel that you have the left out in the cold feeling, go inside the church and pray and ask for the forgiveness, okay? Because you have everything else that's coming toward you perfectly. All right, so um, never have that negative thought for you to be abundant and stable and stability and success. You need to have a positive, abundant mindset, all right? So let's Look into one more message. You have a queen of sword. You have a queen of sword in the tarot of Oracle deck. You have a queen of sword in the tarot deck. The message remind you that you are brilliant, you experience, and you need to release any situation or people that no longer serve you 
sincere to you, be true to you. Okay, so it asking you that. So, or, or even yourself when you don't give yourself a credit for your success because you do focusing on the truth and your career success. Okay, so making sure that you look into your situation for this week. Let's take a look into one more of the uh, message from the Oracle Tower deck. So you need to look into more in your life. You have it already. It's asking you, you need to go out and seek for more in life. You already success. You have the money. Do something useful for yourself. Continue learning, continue gathering information, and that is how it gives you experience in life and choosing to make a life uh, to be more happy, more helpful, more uh, fulfillment. Okay, you know, sometimes you need to take chance to make things work. Take into the priority. Learn from your experience. Let's see the message from the angel of abundant deck here. Asking you no more complain, no more negatively. Okay, negatively. You know why? Because the universe want to remind you, Taurus. When you complain, you are affirming that you are a victim, which is never true in the eyes of the universe. So take back your universe God-giving power by confirming that you have an abundance of choice and freedom, which will increase your confidence and assertiveness. With no complaining, you will see this positive affirmation blooming into your reality. You are going to be benefit from it. Let's take a look into the message of Oracle Deck, telling you, you, Taurus, have the power within you to make all of the problem issue things that in life journey the problem or the issue as big as the mountain you can make it small you can solve it you can bring it down from the uh, extreme to down to calm issue you can make things calm even the situation as Big as the mountain, as a high pitch problem, you able to solve to make thing come into the peacefulness. And so that is your message for this week. Take care, Taurus.